Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another installment of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. I'm just kidding. Okay, we're looking down at a uh, 1ZZ FE engine. And in this uh, episode, I'm just going to cover some of the basic features of this engine for those of you who might be interested in learning more about it. Okay, so I'm going to start from the center and move out to the sides. Uh, but first let me say this is a healthy engine, healthy running engine, and the reason that we have the valve cover off is to replace the valve cover gasket, which was starting to leak some oil and needed replacement. Okay. So just looking down here, first thing I want to note is these are the spark plug holes. There are four, of course, and down in the bottom of each of these holes there is a spark plug. Right. And then on either side there are um, the intake cam is this cam, and the exhaust cam is this cam. Okay, so on the side of the intake cam, we have uh, the fuel injectors, which are connected with these connectors right here, and the fuel rail right here. So this is outside the engine, of course. Okay, back to the inside. These assemblies right here are called the cam caps. They hold the cams down. So these are the four cam caps for the intake and these are the four cam caps for the exhaust. At the in end of the intake camshaft we have the lobes for the uh, camshaft position sensor. You see this is the camshaft position sensor. It's a hall effect or magnetic. It means as each of these teeth goes by, as each of these teeth goes by, the elements and it generates a pulse that is detected by the ECU and this lets the ECU determine the position of this camshaft. Okay, the camshaft has lobes. See these lobes? Okay, this one is pointing up. Okay, and they're at various angles. Okay, same thing with the exhaust cam. It has lobes and these lobes uh, push the valves down uh, into the head in order to uh, allow the flow of uh, on the intake side a flow of air and fuel to enter and on the exhaust side it allows the flow of exhaust gases to exit okay now at the end we have the end cap Okay, this is on the timing cover side, and on the end cap side we have the two sprockets uh, for the shafts, for the cam shafts, and these are driven by the timing chain. Okay, but people always ask when they look at their engine, what's the normal amount of tension in uh, my timing chain? And as you can see, this chain has a lot of slack apparently but it's entirely normal with the engine at rest you can expect to see some slack in the chain and this is normal now this big gear here is a variable valve timing gear VVTI gear and it allows the camshaft the intake camshaft to uh, be phased that means that it can be in a different relative position from the uh, exhaust camshaft. And this allows it to be either advanced or retarded. And this is done using a pretty complicated uh, oil pressure mechanism. And this is actually the top of the oil control valve, OCV valve or actuator that varies the oil pressure in order to achieve the relative rotation of this gear. Okay, I think I've covered all the things that I wanted to cover. Hope you've enjoyed this and found it instructive. Thanks for watching.